How is everybody doing? Going to be bringing a recap of NFP Friday. The trade that I've took was a short right down to the weekly low. Um, you see where I put my buy limit, but I end up removing it because I uh, just wasn't paying attention. Anyway, I uh, was in live with the Discord, which you can join, you know, by looking in the description. Right, we weren't, you know, risking too much today. Um, right, because we didn't originally get the plan that we wanted to. Um, we were originally looking for the wick to catch us and fill us, right, and then drop lower with the manipulation being to the upside. <clears throat> we did receive that. We just didn't get filled right to the uh, highs that we thought we were going to. Um, and looking back, right, we're going to go over on the chart why that was and why that happened. Looking now, we see our retrace turtle soup, or our internal turtle soup, into our open fair value gap there after creating our order block. We see, you know, just efficient price delivery on the 15 second inside of the one minute, right, where the five minute doesn't look the best for an entry, right, but it does, you know, um, motion towards um, efficient price delivery towards the weekly low, right, see, uh, indicating a kiss of death with our um, final wick above the NFP high with an SMT. I saw that NQ did create equal highs. Either way, right, an SMT above that body to me is um either way right it's quite suspect and i you know understand that it will probably um right keep delivering to the low after souping the high here we see right there's nothing other to do than you know just wait and you know hold along until you know take profit is hit and like i said this was live on the discord so i'm showing a couple small things like the small market maker model right on the one minute that i see um you know and trying to show how i try to overlap different um, confluences to align myself within a good trade we see here we're still just waiting for take profit to hit right we see another internal soup into our fair value gap order block created on the 15 second inside of the one minute rejection block we also deliver to equilibrium and then of the range we just created with the right delivered low we create a balanced price range and should go ahead and keep delivering lower <clears throat> we also see with our 10 a.m open right we open high and then into our low close, right, to deliver past our, um, right, engineered liquidity into the weekly low. I think I, like, took profit on one, like, right below the low, um, or, right, yeah, it was, like, right at the low. Like I said, we were on micro, so it, you know, doesn't matter that big of a deal to me, um, right, and I went ahead and closed here as well, instead of holding to that weekly fair value gap. I also just didn't notice it, and as well, you see here, where I put that first one was where I um, initially got stopped out and honestly right with our high resistance high being put in here right my stop was just a little too small and that was the reason I ended up getting a small loss there right one of these cons right ate that loss and was able to make some good profit on the day right with it being super volatile micros are you know easily able to make a couple hundred dollars and I think I ended up making like seven or eight hundred dollars nothing too crazy especially you know when price didn't you know deliver exactly how i thought it was going to and you know we'll also look into the overnight right range and how many smart money reversals we had in asia right during the whole week and coming into nfp friday let's hop onto the chart coming into the chart we see right our weekly low with this line indicating right here and into the four hour right this is our pm session so we will, or actually this is our 10 a.m. I mean, but, um, you know, as we saw, it took it out within the first minutes. So it did dig a little bit le uh, lower into, right, below this low into the weekly fair value gap. That was a, uh, a couple hundred ticks I missed out on, um, and we could have capitalized on that, but it's all right. Right, we're coming in from another Asia Smart Money reversal, excuse me, reversal with a Wednesday high, uh, or excuse me, a Thursday high right of you know high of week and high of day with the smt es taking that liquidity above we also notice right here into um this tuesday right or wednesday excuse me right with it being um, 6 p.m we see the low created during asia right and overall a very just seek and destroy type of week um we did deliver the lows then back high right and then right ran that high resistance low created here um right on that tuesday with that very bullish wednesday right with the classic buy it's not hard to go into 
you know, Thursday, understanding that we need to hit that previous day high liquidity to go ahead and either one, keep expanding, or two, deliver lower, right? Not saying, I think I ended up taking, um, we ended up taking this long. Um, I may have missed my entry. Um, I think we were live in the Discord as well, but you can see, right, the market maker model there as well into a good open high, low close time into your manipulation, right? Not delivering past, um, you know, your high resistance low, but turtle souping, right, your low resistance. Um, also, right, like we said, we delivered with the SMT. So either way, you would have been able to close profits, you know, above the low hanging fruit. Um, and I don't quite think we reached that high, right? But we did, um, you know, with this being our uh, uh, anticipated failure swing, we can look on the one hour and see, right, how that does turtle soup, right, this internal into the order block and then deliver lower, right, into our 10 a.m. candle. Um, also coming in the four hour, right, we see our open high into the low close, right, with the high resistance um, SMT in the low time frame CSID, lower time frame than the five minute. But I don't want to go over a whole weekly review. Like I said, we're going over Thursday, but we have to understand where and why we're delivering from. So coming in, right, we see, um, right, Thursday, uh, close and then open. We have a turtle soup delivering into our, um, right, 350, into the market close, into, right, another low being broken, into, right, our order block, right here, delivering back lower. This delivered from our order block here, right, so this high should deliver past the low, and it does, and it creates low resistance into right our Friday opening and just dropping instantly lower. Um, I think I was able to capitalize on one small short that I sent to the Discord. It may have been honestly right here, um, right in you know understanding that this turtle soup's high, or excuse me, this high is turtle soup. Right, we've delivered back into uh, EQ of our range, um, and not OTE, but right above EQ, and we'll get into you know another episode. Uh, where I like to use this little area here, right? As uh, some people call it a golden pocket, you know, you see a lot of retail people use it, right? But we deliver, you know, right into this small area with being above equilibrium. And either, right, it can, right, wick above our 0.68, but right into our OTE. <clears throat> we see then us deliver, break lower. So same thing here. High to low, I, or excuse me, high to low, right, and like I said, we can, right, do, uh, we can deliver a bit above it, but what we do is go ahead and deliver lower, creating equal lows here, relative equal lows, and low resistance to the left, and right, our weekly draw into, right, our um, weekly profile being a Friday expansion, and indeed that's what it does, and delivers past our low resistance low here, finishing right this cell model into our weekly low and indicated with this line here. We see coming into the morning, right, we accumulate and have an SMT into our London session, uh, uh, excuse me, accumulation, manipulation, right, indicating, right, the IOFED that we're going to deliver lower quicker. What um, I failed to realize here is that Right, NFP no longer needed to soup this because, right, how quickly we reacted, delivered lower, right, sell side, I mean buy side, then sell side. Balancing the price range, we see NFP, did it again. Right, we see NFP come right into our, almost perfectly tap our OTE area. Right, not deliver past the turtle soup high. Right after the low, we see us deliver right like we say. I did it again. What is wrong with me? Right, fail to close above and deliver quickly. Right, and then we see that we have right low resistance here. And not, um, you know, thinking that this is a rejection block because we're coming into our six open. We're six just open high. And then it should low close on the four hour, and indeed it does. Um, right, but it doesn't close, excuse me. Right, but NFP does what we think it does, but it just doesn't wick above the high here. Um, 
and we should have been on top of that understanding right that one this high has uh, efficiently delivered price here and then it should go ahead and deliver right understanding that the London liquidity doesn't need to be taken out we then induce more liquidity right to the highs and also um, you know before our 10 open deliver higher we also were looking low time frame to long right here um, understanding that you know that retrace would happen um, right having a 15 second breaker one minute CSID um, you know and understanding that we have the liquidity now induced here um, you know and taking this one small risk after um, you know not missing out per se but you know after not catching this right understanding that it would have to retrace um, and then you know that wasn't the trade I took we, we went ahead and missed out on that one waited for price to sweep our um, buy side level and like I said on NQ it didn't but right one thing you can study in your charts is looking for right it just to soup the body you that's you know all you technically need um and right if we start delivering right as we did here um and delivering very quickly it can leave equal highs um but it's still right a technical crack in correlation and it will um deliver lower we also see that that um you know with our six open being here that six high is souped right with the open high low and also with the one hour power of three open high right souping our range also with that you know you can see a um, time based range with the CRT as well um, and then delivering lower we then come into the five minute where we see the wick and close back within the range and then into the one minute where I see our CSID created here right with no fair value gap so we can enter in the wick and I just barely got stopped out right um, into this equal high and then we look down on the 15 minute right after this low is created I think I entered somewhere um, I can't remember exactly where my fill was but I entered somewhere in here um, and had my stop I think it was like super small like above this high and you know just got stopped out on that and I you know obviously if you're looking at this you shouldn't be trading the 15 second but I like to have my stop a lot lot smaller and have a really big RR and you know in this case it uh, went ahead and dropped my win rate and I don't like to do that as many times but it does end up happening right after we see that we see what we like to see a drop lower a reaccumulation into a turtle soup of your equal highs into 50% of your range I keep doing it. I'm very sorry and I'll go ahead and delete these lines and we see that indicated with this low and this high take these off right and then we saw my entry um, right one these equal lows were created here 15 second it's not a breaker not a CSID but on the one minute right we see our CSID here um, and I, I know I entered within a discount of the range yeah, so I tell yeah, I would have entered up there. Sorry, I'm having a brain fart of where exactly I entered. Um, but I think right after we reacted like that, um, and then also um, this being OT of the the larger range as well, um, I went ahead and oh yeah, and then also right we reacted from the wick as well. Um, right, open high and then low closing right into the open of the one minute here with the 951. Um, as soon as we close below, I think I marketed somewhere in here um yeah and then this candle is where it almost uh i had almost moved my stop to break even but understood that you know we could come into a uh, mean threshold of this order block right in you know the fair value gap as well right to the then deliver lower right and that could happen right but this high was safe um even like this one to be honest with you was safe um but even you know this high was super super safe and then from there right entered I don't think, yeah, I think, you see how volatile we're being even on the 15 second? That's a 100 tick stop. And then let's get our weekly low. Right, and um, if you guys did see, I took profit on, right, one of them early. Uh, like, I think it was this low. Right, so still a 3R. And I think one at this low, 4. And then our final take profit's hitting right, right at about a 5 to 7 RR. 
And even then, I think I honestly, right, even had my stop lower um, in the mean threshold. So, but we'll just say here, you know, with the final take profit hitting a 7RR. Um, right, and, you know, it's pretty simple. I know 5-minute, right, didn't look the best, but with us closing back inside the range, that's all you need. And also, you know, if you want to get real nerdy about it, 15-minute CRT, you know, with your 830 range indicated from your news, we start to accumulate, turtle soup to high range high range low and then you know catching a you know breaker entry is not my favorite thing to do but that's what we went ahead and did in this case um and you know i was on live as well so i felt i guess i felt the need to go ahead and take a trade but um you know this is you know a really really high confidence trade and it's not like i mean it's not like it was not gonna hit right we see our you know market maker models with our you know, accumulation ranges, you know, our higher time frame market maker model, I will, as, excuse me, as well, um, here, accumulation, you know, I mean, you know, into low resistance, taking this low, and then, right, our KOD into the high of NFP, and then, you know, returning to lower this, or returning to this lower draw on liquidity. We also see on the five minute, right, I know this candle here does look weird, right, but we have equal lows into low resistance. And then, you know, I'll show on the five, 15 minute, excuse me, as well, how you can see, right, this low resistance and equal lows here. That long wick does look weird, but we fill them with order flow, right, so we fill this wick to and through, right, and deliver past the low, right. Also, accumulation, manipulation with 930 into your 10 distribution. Not really much more to cover. There is a lot of small key tips that you, you know, could see if you've, excuse me, had to burp right there. But, you know, there would be, you know, there's a lot more key things and small things inside of here to be able to, um, right, capitalize on. You know, if you watch the videos and have the notes and, you know, know what you should be looking for, you know, I did, you know, you could, you just can see a lot of the small things. Um, you know, if you always have questions, like I said, we're always in the Discord, caught this one. You know live in the discord and that's almost you know 150 points um you know with it being like 600 ticks or something like that so not too too bad we'll throw that one more time here on the chart with you know uh really bad entry um okay well i had 600 so that's not where i entered All right All right something like that um go back on the 15 second just to be sure one more time yeah and I remember this didn't touch my position so I was probably in just a little bit higher um so like 630 something and you see here that's like 158 points so not too too bad and you know like we said like a seven something RR so you know and that was on two cons I know you know like on this one all four cons and you know, technically, I just need to get better there. But like, like I said, right, this last con hit. You know, even if we pull it back a little bit, five RR. Um, it definitely was not under five RR because I closed right like down here. Um, but yeah, either way, let me quit yapping. Go ahead and let y'all leave, and y'all have a great one. Thanks for watching.